A.K. Mishra, uh, coming to you. Now, how important do these symbols become? From the time that uh, this was a heritage building that was of uh, a colonial hangover to now everything that is intrinsic to what India and what Indians signify. Bengal has faced an A.K. Mishra, but, but we are going to particularly speak about how uh, the seeds of various muts from Tamil Nadu, they all have been brought in. Yesterday at the Malai temple in Delhi, they were all gathered together. There was this uh, sort of a dress rehearsal, if you could call it, that took place. And finally, the scepter is of all importance, where it is going to be taken with all the prayers, all the hymns that are going to be sung, all the religious activities that are going to take place around it, and then placed inside the parliament. Ma'am, it's a very nice question. Really, it's a very nice question. I would like uh, <clears throat> to say in historical manner, see, all these politicians, they have created that South is different, North is uh, uh, different, Dravidian culture as well as the Aryan culture, Aryan in in invasion theory and all these things. I would like to explain here that the entire culture of Tamil Nadu has been introduced and developed by Maharshi August. If you go to Tamil Nadu, you will find out that who was Maharshi August and what was the what was the role of Maharshi August in developing modern day culture of Tamil Nadu. More than 7,000 institute or Gurkul he opened there and basically he belongs to Varansi. Up to the age of 19 years, Maharshi August was living in Varansi. So, unity in diversity, how entire India is connected with each and every one. One side is Kasi, Nandi, uh, Nandi is also there as well as on other side in Tamil Nadu. Nandi is having equally importance in the culture of Tamil Nadu also as well as rest of other state culture also. So this is unification of not only you can say the public, not only each and every state, this building particularly. But you can say the soul, cultural soul of entire India. One statement is there, ki anekta mein ekta, jo ye log bolte hai na, ki diversity in unity, how to explain. This building is going to explain in beautiful manner. Yeah. You go, each and every state culture is there, thought is there, ideology is there, historical fact is there. This is one. And what is the moral foundation or ethical foundation of India or Indian culture? Bharti Sabata ka Sang Achadham, Sang Vaddadham, Sang Vo Manasi Janatam. Matlab sab log ek saath chalo, sab log milke chalo, aur ek hi disha mein, ek hi nirdai le kar ke chaliye. Move in one direction, with one thought. What this building is showing? This, this is showing that your state may be different, your culture, your language may be different. But we all are one. Our basic thought concept, it is one. One more ideological concept, it is reflecting here that <coughs> the basic concept of Indian ideology or mythology is that Sarve Bhavan Tu Sikhna Sarve Santu Niramaya. That building, the old building was only good for the Britishers because of they developed that building just to rule over the Indian, not for the welfare of the Indian, just to loot the India, Indian prosperity. This building is for each and every Indian, for each and every Bharti, for the prosperity, for the judgment, for justice, for equality. Yeah. So that's why I will not say Vahtaj. Here are some people, some politicians, those who are saying Vahtaj. They are appreciating Taj Mahal that it is one of the wonderful buildings across the globe. But we should remember that the hands were chopped off when Taj Mahal yeah. was built, yeah. hands were chopped off. But here, whatever the labor has put it, whatever the taxpayer they have put it, their money, they are going to enjoy the opening ceremony. They are going to get a respect here. This is the yeah. difference between ideology and culture okay. and why I am feeling proud. This is a proud moment for me. Yeah, absolutely this, right. This, absolutely. Yeah, you, make, you, make, you make all the valid points over here. Dr. Rai, getting you back into the conversation, we talk about the scepter and, and obviously... Uh, Ma'am, one thing is very much important. This is a very proud moment for each and every Bharti. I am not talking about Indian. And this is a proud moment for Bharat, not for India. One historical fact is there, when Britishers shifted there, you can say the capital from Calcutta to Delhi and uh, they built all these structures. When they started to working, working in this building, within 20 to 30 years, from entire globe, the British Empire has been vanished. It means it was not lucky for Britishers as well as for India. If you see in last 70 years, whatever the growth should be achieved by India, with all resources, we are having all different kind of the resources and talent we could not achieve. This only one building is such a historical importance it is carrying, you right. say. This is from soil. 
our you can say our thoughts our history each and everything has been putted where every bharti can consider can connect yes this is our building representing bharat not the india so that's why it is very much important for all indians or bharti thousand year glory whatever it has been there which which was hidden which was not explored it will be unified each and everything across india at one place right. so this is very pride moment for every bharti you're absolutely right honestly it's it's an emotional moment for all of all, all of us all and mr mishra got emotional right i think it's it's a moment that that we all cherish we all cherish and if fair enough yes, emotion for your land yeah. for your and, culture and, and, there is yeah, no value and, uh, what, no meaning yeah, of your life absolutely we not, should not have emotion for pakistan or other we no i I'm, i completely agree land. with you that's why that's why you know to, to hold this telecast over here to to